Are you considering a move to Woodstock? Today I've got five essential things you're going to need to know before you make that leap. And if you're ready to discuss your real estate needs, the link is in the description to book a meeting with me. Now let's get started. So we're going to start off with some statistics and demographics pulled from the 2021 Stats Canada Census. To give you an idea of the size of Woodstock, it covers an area of 43 square kilometers. This is pretty small considering the nearby city of London covers an area of 437 square kilometers. That's 10 times the size of Woodstock. The total population is 46,700 and of these residents, the average age is 41, with the largest age group being that of individuals over the age of 65. The median household income in Woodstock is $82,000 and there's a total of just under 19,000 households. 65% of which are owned and 35% are rented. Single detached houses represent 57% of the residential buildings in Woodstock. The rest would be semi-detached, townhouses, or apartments. The largest portion of houses here were built before 1960, and the second largest was between 1960 and 1980. The median home value here as of December 2023 was 591,000 and with the average being 609,000. This leads to my second point. Where are all these houses and where should where are the areas you should avoid? You'll have to check out my previous video showing all the different ages of homes throughout the city on a map view. Hit the subscribe button because I'll be releasing videos talking about all the best neighborhoods in Woodstock. But for right now, I'll say there's not very many bad areas in Woodstock, but many say to stay away from James Street and the west side of Main Street. The third thing you're going to want to know about if you have children are the schools. There's 14 elementary schools. Most of them are public with a few Catholic and Christian schools. There's five secondary schools and one Fanshawe College campus. Many of the schools around here have portable classrooms because the main buildings are getting overcrowded. Luckily, a new elementary school in the north end of Woodstock is in the design phase right now and will have space for 856 students. The expected completion is in 2026. Fourth on the list is employment here in Woodstock. Data from the 2021 Stats Canada Census has an unemployment rate of 12% listed for Woodstock. That's extremely high. Although I dug into this a little deeper and found this chart showing the unemployment rate for Ontario and Canada jumping up during that same period. We all know what caused this, <clears throat> Cerveza sickness. I couldn't find any other recent data for Woodstock specifically, but this chart shows in orange London's unemployment rate hovering around 5-6% to 6 throughout 2023. Considering the Ontario rate is around 6%, I think it's safe to assume Woodstock would also have recovered. Common jobs here are manufacturing, sales, service, trades, and healthcare. Most employed people in Woodstock travel less than 15 minutes to get to work. Those who commute 15 to 30 minutes are usually staying within the similar municipality of Oxford County. All in all, the average commute time in Woodstock is 21 minutes. The preferred commuting method here is by car. Last thing I have for you today is the climate. The average daily highs in the summer are 26 and 27 during July and August. And in the winter, during January and February, the average daily lows are minus 10 degrees Celsius. So pretty mild winters and comfortable summers, but the humidity is really what makes an impact on these temperatures. If you're looking to move to Woodstock, book a meeting with me. The link is in the description below. And subscribe to learn everything there is to know about living in Woodstock.